Hey everybody, today on Henry's How To's, I'm going to show you how to make a traditional lamb roast Persian style. Let's get straight into it. So just in front of me here, I've got about a 2 kilo leg of lamb. So the first thing we want to do is just score it. So just cut into it about 6 times. Now you don't want to go too deep either. Just a bit less than a centimetre. Just like that. Now just into every cut, I'm just going to put in a sprig of dried mint. Just like that. If you prefer, you can use rosemary or thyme if you prefer. But personally, I don't like those flavours, so I stick to mint. Now grab a big baking tray that you can use. Make sure the roast will fit into it. And we're going to start by adding in one and a half tablespoons of salt, about half a tablespoon of sweet paprika, about one teaspoon of ground cloves, half a tablespoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a tablespoon of black pepper, about one tablespoon of red sumac, and about half a tablespoon of ground coriander. Now just give that a shake around so you can get it mixed up, just like that, and then we'll add 2 tablespoons of saffron water. Along with 3 tablespoons of olive oil. Now just using your hands, you just want to mix this up so it almost turns into a paste. If you don't like getting your hands dirty, you can just use a spoon. Just so we have something that looks like that. Now you want to grab your lamb leg. And all we want to do is push this into it. So we can get it nicely covered like that. So just keep moving around in the tray. And you just want to rub it into it. And you can see we've got a beautiful colour coming on. So what we're looking for is something that looks like that. So at this point you want to preheat your oven to about 200 degrees celsius. Before we throw our roast into the oven, I'm just going to prepare some root vegetables too that we can put in with the lamb so it cooks together. Now in my case here I'm going to use carrots and sweet potatoes. You can add anything you like, it's completely up to you. I just want to keep it nice and simple. So nothing special, you just want to peel all your vegetables. And we just want to put them into small pieces like that. Don't do them too thin because they'll cook quickly and the lamb will take longer. And as for the sweet potato, same principle, you just want to peel it. If you're doing normal potatoes, just leave the skin on as it will be nicer for a roast. And with the sweet potato, just slice it lengthways. And you just want to make little pieces like that. Now with our vegetables, we'll keep them very simple. Just add a pinch of salt. A couple of cracks of black pepper. And just a drizzle of olive oil. And just give that a quick mix in the bowl. And all we're going to do is add it into our same tray, just along the sides like that. Now after it's cooked, the juices will all mix together and the flavour will go to our vegetables too. So straight into the oven now, 200 degrees. And you want to leave this in there for about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on your oven temperature. So after about an hour and a half, just have a look on your roast. As you can see in this case, it's nice and well done. So just bring that out and just let it rest outside. And that's how our roast looks now, perfectly done. Now what we need to do is take our roast out of the actual tray. 
Hopefully it's cool enough to touch with your hands. And we're left with the vegetables and the juice in the tray. Now don't waste any of these. We still need this. So just set the roast aside for now. We can't serve that there yet. It needs to rest. Now just use a spoon to take out your vegetables. You want to leave all these juice and fat in there. We'll use that to make a really nice gravy. So now what you want to do is just scrape off all the juices and fat from your tray. And add in two cups of warm water, just to help it all come off. And just let that soak there. Basically everything that's left in the tray is all flavour. We don't want to waste any of this. So I've just added all our stock into a hot pan. And we're also going to add one tablespoon of plain flour. You can use corn flour if you prefer. Or if you really want, you can use no flour at all. The only thing it's going to do is thicken our gravy up. So just whisk that through so there's no clumps. Now a lot of people add beef stock powder to the gravy. I find it's useless in this case because it's a roast lamb. But if you want, you can go ahead and do that. But the lamb itself has enough flavour. So just let this reach the boil. Once you've got it boiling on the sides like that, Reduce your heat all the way down and just let that slowly simmer and thicken up. Now in the meantime we'll carve our lamb. Now as for carving your lamb, you, all you want to do is really nice thin slices. So make sure you're using a very sharp knife. And there's two ways we can do this. We'll start from the top, then go to the bottom and then we'll do the sides. So first obviously check where your bones are because we don't want to carve into them. And just run your knife against the meat like that. And just let the pieces fall off like that. And we'll set those aside. Okay, now flip it over. Now you also want to be careful of the bones while you're carving. I can already feel one here, so you should be careful of that. Just be careful how you run your knife. So in the end, your meat should be well like that. And you should be left with the bone and a few pieces of skin and fat. But it's simple as that. And the bone can go straight to the dog. And now we'll dish it up with our gravy. So we'll start by dishing our vegetables on the bottom. Place your roast lamb right on the top like that. And we'll finish our dish off by splashing our delicious homemade gravy right on top. And there we have it. How good does that look? Perfect for a Sunday roast. I hope you like that guys, please like and subscribe, if you've got any comments or suggestions leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.